You are building for vampires all wrong. Welcome back to Speed Build Saturday. I'm your host, Fake Gamer Girl, and the way that I said that made this sound way more professional than it actually is. Surprise, surprise, I am doing another hyper fixated build because I don't know if you guys knew this about me, but I kind of like vampires a little bit too much. Not to say that I've met one before because I haven't, so if you are one, I am so sorry about the cultural appropriation that is about to happen and the wild assumptions about who you are. Obviously, the way that you might personally think about vampires varies depending on what type of vampire media you choose to consume or not choose to consume, but you what you've just been around. If we're talking about The Sims 4 in particular, they have a very interesting way of how vampires work. It's pretty basic. You don't age, you drink blood, you need to shower, I don't think you need to use the restroom, and sometimes you might need to take a nap. But it's not because you get sleepy, it's just because you have to rejuvenate yourself from all of those vampire powers that you were using all day. You can still stand in the sun for a limited amount of time, but obviously if you spend a little bit too much time outside, then you will burn to a crisp and die. But you can also be awake during the daytime and remain indoors. You just can't be under direct sunlight. Again, it's nothing too kooky, nothing too crazy, and vampire decor is very old. It's very Victorian, and I don't like this version of vampires. Obviously, it's the version that we were given, so when I play The Sims, that is how I play it, but I have like a different, a different thing in mind. And that's basically what today's build is about. I know it took me like a minute to get into what I am building, but I want to build a modern vampire penthouse. I feel like if you're a vampire and you've been alive for X amount of time, you probably have a good amount of generational wealth in you. Nine times out of ten. Like, I feel like the stereotypical vampire is quite rich. So I don't think it would be far-fetched to think that a rich vampire would live in a penthouse in the middle of a city. Why a city? Because there's more people there and guess what people provide? That's right, blood. That you need because you're a sick fuck. Now this build was inspired by two very strong hyperfixations that I am simultaneously hyperfixated on, and that is Vampire the Masquerade and Cyberpunk because I always, oh, I just always come back to these. It's kind of like The Sims 4 where you don't play it for like a year and then you have like five months where it's the only thing you play. I just have stuff like that on rotation. And I kind of wanted to go for this Cyberpunk Corpo aesthetic, but with vampiric undertones. And that was just my great justification to making this build. And honestly, this was the definition of trust the process. And I know I say that for every build. I know I do. I'm shaking a little old cup with a little coin in it, just begging you to keep watching. I swear it'll get better. I swear it does. And it does. At the end, I'm actually super, super happy with how this turned out. Maybe not so much the living room, because honestly, I had no idea what I was doing. Probably a couple of things that I would change in retrospect, but like, who cares, right? Half of you aren't even looking at the screen at this point. But this was the first time that I have actually built a build in live mode and not... I mean, you can't build anything in live mode. It's just I moved a sim in and then built from there because usually I build from the main menu, but I needed to tweak the lights so badly like halfway through because I had this idea in my head and I was like, at the end, I'll change the lights and it'll all make sense. But it just, I wasn't trusting the vision. It was stressing me out. So I had to move someone in real quick to be able to change the lights, which again, I am begging, please. Sims team, let us change the lights in build mode because I hate having to switch to live mode every single time. And for people to say, oh, just shift click. It doesn't work like that. You need a mod to to do it. And yeah, okay, yeah, I could download the mod, but that requires effort. So I'd rather just have somebody else do all the work for me. And then you could say, oh, well, the modder did all the work for you. I, I'm just trying to make a problem a problem. Okay, I'm just being a girl right now. <laughs> I'm just a girl. That's a harmful stereotype. Well, I mean, it is, but I am also exactly that stereotype. I'm dramatic and I have no problems admitting it. Anyway, back to the topic at hand, vampires. Obviously there are different types of vampire lore and I'm not gonna go into the Sims one because I basically, went over it anyway. But obviously you have twilight vampires where they have to feast on blood and it doesn't matter if it comes from a human or an animal and the different types of blood that you consume, ingest, drink, changes the color of your eyes. So if you feast on human blood, you have red eyes. And if you feast on animal blood, you have orange eyes, which is why every single time I watch twilight with somebody who's never watched it before, they're like, oh my God, the contacts inconsistency is wild. And it's like, no. And also if you get hungry and you haven't been having any blood, your eyes get darker. I don't know. It's like really inconsequential, but it was a really cool detail that I really liked. And you can stand in the sun. You just sparkle. A lot of people really hated that and they thought that it kind of made vampires lame and less deadly. But, and I mean, I don't mean to justify Twilight because it is so problematic, but at the same time, this is the skin of a killer, Bella. I think that's pretty metal, to be honest. Like vampires are meant to be predators essentially and not in the way that Edward is like a million years old and Bella, not like that. I mean, 
and literally like, I'm going to kill you type of predator. Like an animal, an animal. We're off to a good start. He's 17. He's been stuck at 17. I'm not going into that. That is out of my jurisdiction, but it very much is in Charlie Swan's jurisdiction. But imagine being an animal. I mean, let's just look at it like they're an animal. Imagine being an animal. That is so deadly that you don't even need to hide yourself, that you literally sparkle in the sunlight. You have no natural predators. That is terrifying. Imagine if bears sparkle and you're just camping and then you see glistening in the distance and that means run. I'm sorry. I think sparkling vampires are actually so fucking cool and I bet you never thought of it that way. You're welcome. And in Twilight, every single vampire has its own unique power. I think some of them don't. I think you have to be really unlucky if you don't, but obviously Edward can read minds. Alice can tell the future, but it's not the future. It's like I can see things as they are right now or as they will be or as they might be. Like, okay, just say you're crazy, bitch. And then Bella's superpower when she eventually does become a vampire, and I'm sorry to spoil it for those of you that haven't seen Twilight, but the girl that keeps talking about wanting to be a vampire for all of the movies does in fact eventually turn into a vampire. Hers is like negating abilities. It's like a protection shield that she can put over other people to stop them from being affected by other people's powers. It's very confusing and that that's the reason that Edward couldn't read her mind because she already inherently had that power in her, but she wasn't a vampire at the time. So it's kind of confusing because if I could read people's minds and then I was hanging out with this girl that doesn't speak very much and I heard nothing in there, I just assume, wow, she's not thinking. Anyway, anyway, that's the Twilight version of vampires, which I don't necessarily hate, but they're still not my favorite. And I'm pretty sure for those of you that have been on this channel for a while, probably already know which version of vampires are in fact my favorite. And it would be Vampire Demasquerade. I'm literally about to info dump on you people. <laughs> so this brings it all the way back to the vibe that I wanted to go for for this build. And in my head, this is a Ventru vampire build. And if you don't know what that is, basically every single vampire in VTM belongs to a clan and there are different types of vampires. Ventru are basically like the asshole politicians of the vampire world. They have an unbridled need for power and they have very big small dick energy. <laughs> they're businessmen, they're politicians, they're just snidey, conniving little brats and I love them. I love them so much. It's because they're not real because if they were real, I would hate them. <laughs> and I feel like who would live in a penthouse? Obviously a Ventru. But the way that vampires in VTM work is every single clan has its own advantages and disadvantages and the type of vampire you are is all dependent on who bites you. So if your sire, who is the person that ends up biting you, is a Ventru, guess what? You are part of the asshole club. Congratulations, you can never change it. I think I like VTM so much because of the different clan systems because it kind of reminds me of like Bratz dolls. If you think about it, like all of these childhood cartoons had this kind of vibe where they were like, which one are you? Are you Chloe? Are you Jade? Which Powerpuff girl are you most like? It's kind of like that. Like we love categorizing ourselves and that's kind of what VTM does. And I also like how fucking like dark and gritty it is. Like if you don't drink blood, you will go crazy and basically kill everything all around you. And you can't even stay awake during the daytime. Your body goes back to being like a corpse during the daytime. And if you even so much as like touch sunlight, even go near sunlight, you're basically dead. You're ashes, you're kaput. So you might be like, why are there so many windows in this penthouse girl if vampires can't even be near the sun? Um, there's something called curtains. And I feel like in my head, and I really wish the Sims actually let you close curtains. It would be really cool. In my head, these vampires have these like automatic curtains that when it's daytime, it just shuts and it's like blackout curtains and they're fine. You know what else is fine? That every single week on this channel, we have a build competition where I give you guys a prompt, you guys build it, upload it to the gallery, and I review those builds in a video. Using the hashtag that shows up on the screen right now, I want you guys to build me a vampire build. Just a build that is perfect for a vampire. Doesn't need to be residential. It could be a commercial lot. And it also doesn't have to be the traditional vampire looking thing that The Sims wants us to make. Go modern, go BC era, go crazy. The deadline to submit your builds is gonna be Saturday, April 20th. So get your builds in by then and please double check the spelling of the hashtag. If you don't spell it right, I won't see it. Therefore, I won't review it, which means it won't be in the video. And then you will just hate me and then think about sending me death threats and realize that you can't anymore. So you have to comment them in the comments below, which is fine. <laughs> Drive up my algorithm, bestie. I absolutely love leaving things to the last minute, even though I was meant to announce that earlier in the video, but here we are. So instead of clicking off now that you got what you wanted, stick around because I made a lovely little montage showing off the entire build with some VTM inspired music. And I literally have nothing else to say. Um, so I think the best way that I could probably end this video would be...